What up, what up, what up, guys? How's it going? It's Sue back at it again here with some more NASCAR Heat 3 career mode. And there was an update. There was an update, guys. 704 games. Updated the game. So let's check stuff out. Look, there's adjust character. You could change your person on the on the home screen here career mode settings same nothing's changing you know there um, season stats I don't think anything's changed there Contra contracts I don't think anything's changed oh wait 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 we can look at the sponsors look we look at the sponsors look at that wow you could see look at the hunter brothers in the ford the ream the chevy bandit Re reputation required 11 holy crap but then Toyota click and close pilot flying with Chevy Toyota safe life black tire was Toyota so I think the one that I could have chosen was the Ingersoll Rand and that was the Chevy okay look at this look at I haven't even looked at the monster Look at the Monster Cup series. I didn't know you could even do this. Look, you could you could be sponsored by Haas. You could be sponsored by Haas. Holy shit. It's a Ford, so it's garbage, but wow. Doe and Chevy. Aries, you could be sponsored by... Required reputation 38. Oh my god, this game is crazy. You could be sponsored by Liberty University. Oh my god, we could be the next Willie B. Wow. This is crazy. Caterpillar in the Ford. Uh, Pro Care. Another Chevy. Go Daddy for Toyota. That's crazy. So obviously, well, it looks like Doe's the best Chevy. That's a huge signing bonus. That's crazy. This is insane. So let's look at the best ones for truck series so soberty nation and chevy that was a that's not the good one anyways um loves is a good one and that's a toyota i think the next good one would be algan algan and canyon those are the chevy okay so wow that's crazy though that's crazy all right cool 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 what what other changes were there again uh let's look at the reputation there's been a lot of tweaks so Man, sometimes it's like I wish I started this game later. You know, not when the game was released. But anyways, we're going to go to the facility and we are going to real quick take a look if there's any good employees to grab. Stella Jones with 12 suspension. It's pretty good, but not what we're looking for. We do have momentum, guys. We do have momentum. So let's see if we get something really good here at Pocono. Um, short track, Speedway. This is the track I and mean, this is the car we're going to be running. So we're going to throw Catherine on there. We're going to throw Matt Brown on here. And then we're going to also throw um, Andrew on here. So we'll have a 95-95 car. That's already ready. Oh, look. It's right there now. You can see it down there. Upcoming tracks. That's new, too. That's new, too. Um, so after Pocono would be Michigan. So we got to start here. Get Janelle on here. Get Carol on here. And get Siri on here. Then after that, we have Iowa. But that one's already ready. Um, pretty much just do what we can with her. We don't need to make her do anything. Let's let's just throw. Let's just finish up Arrow, I guess. Why not? So Super Speedway or Speedway. We're going to Pocono with our 95, 95, 95 car and momentum, which is good. You guys ready to see the next big thing? The next big thing they added to this game, which is big for me because I'm so happy about this. You ready? You ready? Next race. Simulate race. What? I don't know how you simulate a race. I don't know how it's going to be calculated or if it's a good thing or if it's a bad thing or if it's worth it or if it's not worth it. But you could simulate races. That's crazy. That's like awesome. I'm going to simulate every single truck race. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna race trucks anymore. This is insane. This is you could 
easily stack up on money now. To be honest, I think it's a little lame, but it's cool at the same time because like it's frustrating to run all these races, but it's realistic. But because because now I think it's a little dumb. I'll I'll talk about it. We're going to Pocono. Here we go. I'll talk about it as you know the loading screen and stuff goes in. I'm 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 on the fence about it. I think it's really cool that the option is there. So I think it's fair that way. The the options they give you more options. So good job Seven Four Games for giving us more options. But it could definitely be taken advantage of now. So you could definitely run a 100 100 100 car into every single race. And if you simulate it and you get like top fives every race, it's gonna be frustrating. Like like frustrating to a person who doesn't want to simulate. You know. So like you could run the Cup Series and then run every single other series as well dirt truck and xfinity and just simulate everything but the cup races and you could just have money flying in and i i disagree with that part of it um but there's options so like you could do that if you wanted to make it easy you know so that, that's the, that's the thing that i see about it i think it's definitely making it easy if you do that um so i will not be doing that I might simulate a race just to see what it, what happens. Like I might simulate one of these truck races. Oh, that because you know what also that means. If there's a track that you hate going to that you suck at, you could just simulate it, and you could probably get a better finish in the simulation than you would in the real, like real racing it. So like if Iowa comes around, I could simulate Iowa or New Hampshire. I could simulate New Hampshire. I hate those tracks, but. Is it really fair to simulate your worst tracks? Is it fair? I, I don't know. You guys let me know on that one, but... I don't know. I, I'm just testing out the car to see how it feels. This is a setup from last time we were at Pocono. We were garbage. We were absolutely garbage here at Pocono. Um, I think I'm just going to qualify with a 7 setup and see what happens. We're just going to run the loose 7 setup and go to qualifying. Not going to bother with it. I think we'll do all right here in uh, Pocono. We'll just stay behind people. We'll get a top 10. We'll get a top 10. But this is, this update is insane. And it says, obviously, that there will be less crashes, less freezes. So we'll see if that happens. Um, I'm hype about the update. Like, I'm hyped that they are updating the game and freshening it up. I'm very hype about that very happy about that very happy that they gave us options it is fantastic to have the options to simulate I just don't know how well the simulating is going to be like is it going to make or break the game can you simulate hot seats you probably can't simulate hot seats because the way hot seats work is, is weird um, what if you could just simulate hot seats and win every single hot seat <laughs> because you simulated it? <laughs> that would be silly. And then does the game difficulty, does the game difficulty change your simulation? That's another question. So like if you're playing on legend difficulty and you simulate a race, is your, are you more likely to do bad in that race? As if you were to simulate while it was on easy mode or something? Like does that affect anything at all? That's a question that that's that's the thing. Maybe maybe there's more information on the website for patch notes if there is something like that that 704 games does. But as far as the notes that we get on PS4, there's really no detailed version of it. It's just, oh well, we did this kind of thing. And it's like, well, can you explain what you did? Can you explain how that's gonna affect my game? It would be nice if they did that. Um, I might look into that after this race and see if there is more detailed patch notes. 21st isn't bad, especially when I definitely felt like I wasn't running that well. I think I'm going to go to uh, to to change the setup to 8. This might make me wreck. So if I wreck on this one, I apologize guys. I'm just so hype and I just skipped that. I apologize again guys. I'm starting in 20th position instead of 21st. And someone went to the back. and. JJ Yaley is right behind me, so that's scary. But anyways, back to what we we're talking about. This 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 game. 704 games. You guys are awesome. As much as you guys are terrible, you guys are also awesome at the same time, you know? So 
cool, 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 cool on the changes and the still updating the game. I mean, I know they're going to do that all year. They did that all year last time, so it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I think it's uh, going to help YouTubers who don't pump out content constantly. Um, so they'll be maybe to go through better. And it also said maybe Xbox got the the patch earlier or something. I don't think so because it would have said something on the screen when he was starting the race because you can you now automatically get a team offer to the next league if you make it to the playoffs. So that's new too. So like if when um, I know I didn't record my beginning seasons of my career mode, but in the beginning, I definitely like won or made it to the playoffs of the Dirt Series, and they still wouldn't let me go into the Truck Series. I had to wait until the whole season was over again to get into the truck series and they're saying that if you make it into the playoffs even if you don't have hot seat offers you're automatically going to get a team offer for the next league so there's that as well and that's something else to think about there was a wreck and I got a top 10 I'll take it <laughs> I'm not talking about the race a lot I'm just talking about you know the updates of the game and to be honest I, it's, it's nice it's nice to just chit chat but yeah that's to me that's crazy news absolutely insane news you could simulate races like that is the biggest thing to me i'm not going to use that feature i'm really not just because like i said i feel like it's kind of cheating but it's still it's it's incredible to to think about we pushed up there on Reddick, so we're going to go three wide and exiting this corner. It's a bit scary. I'm a, I'm really scared. I need to clear Harvick here before the tunnel turn. If not, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble, which we do. So to the inside of Tyler Reddick, we're going to get off the gas pretty early to make sure that we get through this turn without dying. And we still make contact with Reddick. But whoo! Hey, who would have known I would have been this competitive at Pocono? <laughs> Look at me in the top five for Pocono. And I've been talking. This whole time I have not been focusing on this race. We're going to slowly pump the throttle all the way through that corner. What are we going to do here? We're going to make it three wide for second place as we double down here on Cole Custer. This is going to be a hell of a turn. We're going in three wide and this is the hard turn. Let me tell you about this turn. I don't know how to take it. You see that? I don't know how to take it. I'm going to get a bad exit. But it's going to be enough to hold on to second place. Holy shit. They also made performance adjustments. And they also made difficulty adjustments. So let's hope they didn't ruin the game with that. Let's real hope on that. Because as you can see, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm on Sadler. I mean, I'm not on Sadler. Sadler's kind of pulling away, to be honest. Not really on Sadler, but I'm here and I'm in the race for Pocono. That is a fast lap, I know. I don't know if I'm going to be doing good or not. Like, I'm 95, 95. I'm definitely going into the Cup Series next year. That is established. I think I'll have enough money. I don't know how good... I'm probably going to have a terrible first year. Um, I wonder how their performance adjustments are going to be to the stuff so maybe I won't have a completely terrible first year but I'm going to be like one chassis and I don't think I'm going to run multiple series either because I want to focus on just the cup series even though my team is going to be bad and it's going to be really hard on money I want to focus on the cup series you know what's going to be crazy is Daytona because we're definitely not grabbing a super speedway chassis I only tell you here about Pocono. My car is really loose. And it's helping me in a lot of ways. But it's also not allowing me to learn how I want to take these corners. Because I do not 
have any clue on how to take these corners. That was a good turn one. It was a very good turn one for me. And Sadler's just pulling away. I don't know how he's doing that at a, tr at a track like Pocono, but he's doing it. He is, a, he is quick. I'm bad at the tunnel turn. I'm really bad at this turn. Because I just, the car gets sideways and I don't, what? I didn't touch the grass. I didn't touch the grass. I thought I could touch that little thing, whatever that is, whatever you want to call that. And then for this one, you see how we kind of like, we struggle in turn three as well. I just feel like I get off the gas and don't, I just don't take the turn correctly. But I'm pulling away from these guys. Without having a hundred engine, I'm pulling away. That's that's something I think about. Oh, I'm pushing real hard. This is going to be a real bad exit. That was awful. Can I still make blocks? They're going to come at me three wide. We're going to go three wide blocking here. Coming out of one. That was insane. Off the throttle. On the throttle. Beautiful tunnel turn. That was, that was gorgeous. That was perfection. Um, but that allows Tyler Reddick into, into third place. And then again, I don't know how to take this turn, but I, I'm on the gas now, and I should be able to stay on the gas all the way through, but Tyler Reddick is going to get a run. He's going to get a run here. Maybe it's best to concede. Maybe it's best to concede a position here. But I'm definitely going to have a better turn than him at one. I definitely feel like I'm better than him at one. But I'm going to get off real early just to fall in behind Reddick, and we didn't have a bad exit this time, so... I really think I just got on the throttle way too early last time around as I tend to hit the wall because my car wants to turn to the right. It just, my car just wants to turn to the right and it's really frustrating. Oh, bad tunnel turn, bad tunnel turn, but we're still going to be in the draft of Tyler Reddick here and we should be able to hold on to third place very easily. And again, I don't know how to take this turn. I think I did a lot better this time than I did last time because Reddit got a hell of a run last time around. And this time, felt pretty good. That's going to be a third place finish in this stage. We need the points anyways. Um, do I think we're going to win this race? No. Uh, we're going to go in for tires and fuel. And that's about it. The car feels good. The car feels good. Do I feel like making the pass here on Sadler? I think I might take him three wide. But I don't really want to pass him before the, the finish line. The start finish. Okay. So we'll go three wide. And I don't want to pass him on the straight like this. But Tyler Reddick got a hell of a run. So we're going to make sure that we're side by side with Tyler Reddick. He's going to come down and pass us. So there's that. We're going to try to hold on to him here. So we gave Tyler Reddick the free win here. See? And I held back there. Like, I could have definitely flew by them on the restart. But it's just no fun. Because then I would have been playing the blocking game the whole way through. Oh, what a what a turn for us. Got in the back of Reddick. We pushed him, though. I don't know if that was a good thing. Ten laps on fuel. I don't know how many laps there are in the race. I feel like... Reddick got a terrible, terrible turn through there, but then he held the bottom, and I, I messed up on my exit. It's hard, I, and it's hard to just stay in the draft. Wow, we're not pitting. We're not pitting on this race. No, no, I learned my mistakes. We're not pitting. Wow, would you look at that run through turn one. It's crazy. We gained a lot on him there. We lost a lot on exit, but I, I feel like I take I took that turn as well as I could do. Like I was off the gas for a very very long time, very long time. And then again on the tunnel turn, I just feel like we're just not fast enough to win this race. We're there, but I. And to be honest, I think we are, but I don't have enough skill. Let's let's put it that way. I don't have enough skill at Pocono to win with my current car. Maybe if I had a 100-100 car, 
Maybe not even a fully 100 hunter card. Maybe if I had a 100 engine, I'd have the skill to win here. But I just don't think I have the skill to win here at Pocono. As I say, as I get to the inside of Tyler Reddick coming out of turn one. Get the side draft going. The, the power, the speed is there. The speed is there. Went to the inside, coming to the tunnel turn side by side for the lead. Holy crap, he gets off the throttle early. Tyler, Tyler, wow. Side by side through the tunnel turn. He gets the better exit though. Can the side draft help? No. We fall in the line behind Tyler Reddick. What a fight for the lead. Can we get a good enough run coming out of three? No, we cannot. No, we cannot. But woof, was that exciting. That was... Who said? Look. Here we go. To the inside of turn one. My best turn. Side by side for the lead going into turn one. Off the gas real early. Hold the bottom. Hold the bottom. Look at this run we're getting. Who said we don't have a race winning car at Pocono? I don't know when the tires start to wear though. But we pass Tyler Reddick for the lead. Get off the gas here in the tunnel turn. Rotate through. Get on the gas. I feel like we're, we're slower than the AI in the tunnel turn. But they also can't make a pass on the tunnel turn. So we should be safe there. I definitely got to figure out how to take turn three. Turn three is going to hurt if I can't take it correctly. I'm going to go for the block here on Elliot Sadler. The block on Tyler Reddick as we come down the front stretch. Seven laps to go here at Pocono. Coming to our best part of the racetrack. Getting off the throttle early. Staying off the throttle. Getting the car to rotate. Coming out a bit wide. Elliot Sadler to the inside. But the block was there. Wow, this is exciting. I've never had so much fun at Pocono ever. I've never been able to race like this at Pocono. To the tunnel turn. A bad, bad turn. Tyler Reddick to the inside. Elliot Sadler to the inside. We dropped the third place. I really don't know how to take this turn at all to save my life. But it looks like we got a good exit coming out of turn three. Two. The back of Tyler Reddick we go. Can we get something going here? What a pull we have. But we have to clear Sadler to make anything work. We clear Sadler coming into turn one. Off the gas real early. The balls. No. We lose it. We lose the back end. We're going to hold on to the throttle full way through. But that was a bad exit because I was to the inside. I didn't get the dive I wanted to. We're still in third place. But we're coming to our worst part of the track. The tunnel turn. Which is weird because you think the AI would be worse at the tunnel turn than us. Oh man. Oh, so close to the wall. We made contact with Reddick. We're spinning. We're dying. Oh my god. Estimator repairs 10. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I don't want to pit. I don't want to pit. <laughs> what is this mistake? This mistake? This mistake by the number 28? With a hurt car, there's two laps to go. 59 arrow damage. But what a restart. Can he hold on for these dying laps of Pocono? The car is not going to turn. Can he hold on? How well can he hold on? The engine's not hurt, but the radiator is. The block's... Can't, but can he get through the tunnel turn? I can't. I can't get through the tunnel turn. Oh! To the side of Reddick! He's bumping and running! The whole squad is running by him though! Can he hold on to a top 10? Obviously was not going to win the race. The car will not rotate! But we only have one lap to go! He's riding Kevin Harvick! Oh my god! Into the wall! 
into the wall. All right. I'm pitting. Couldn't do it. Couldn't hold it. Wow. All right. I should have pitted last time. Wow. That was terrible. It's so sad. I was running so well here at Pocono. See what we can do with two laps here in Pocono. How far can we go up the field? We passed 10 cars on the front stretch. Three wide. Oh, wow. Stopped by Smitley. We get into him. We get this run to the inside where no one is stopping us. We're here. Three wide. Three wide. Coming into the tunnel turn, Alex. But there is Carl Long. Gotta watch out for Carl Long. Alex Lade to the inside. We get into him. We spin him. We spin him. Oh my god. Is there gonna be another caution? There is. God. This is dirty racing by me. That's crazy. Oh my god. Here we go, NASCAR overtime once again. The crazy restarts that the, that we get over the AI it is completely unfair. But in this state, I'm taking advantage of it because I deserve to be in the top 10. With my freshly renewed car, somehow. <laughs> we get to the inside of a lot of people. Up into 22nd place. We get the exit coming out, but we're three wide next to Dylan Lupton and Grala. This is dangerous territory. Into the top 20 we go. To the inside of Nemechek in the tunnel turn. Was a terrible decision. The huge bump from Dylan Lupton. Can we clear Grawl before the turn? We do. This is our worst part of the track. But boy, do I get an exit of amazingness down the front stretch with a car full of steam here we go up into the top 15 to the inside of Clements in the turn one off the gas this is the final lap no matter what can we get to the top 10 Justin Algar Ryan Priest Matt Tiff stopping us from being in the top 10. Three wide into the tunnel turn. The tunnel turn. It's pushing, but it's enough to 12th place. 10th position is right there. Matt Tiff, John Hunter Nemechek are stopping me from the top 10. Riding Matt Tiff, Ross Chastain down the front stretch for the final time. It's not going to be enough. Oh my gosh. I'm tired. That was Pocono. Wow, that was insane. Somehow survived the 11th place finish, even though I deserved to be in last because I wrecked the car. Wrecked the car for the lead. But hey, it was battling. It was fun. Whew. That's another 100 grand in, in the pocket. 7th place in the standings still. What a race. I don't know who won it, but somebody won it and they deserve it. Elliot Sadler with the fastest lap of the race. We completely dumped Alex. I apologize, Alex. I did not mean to dump you. Elliot Sadler is the winner of the race. He deserves it. He did very well. Maybe Tyler Reddit deserves it more. No, I think, I think Elliot Sadler was the dominant car, so... Good for Elliot Sadler for winning the race here at Pocono. And boy, was that was that a race. That was a race. A race and a half. Um, I'm going to see what's coming up next and see what we can do. Finished 11th here at Pocono. I think that made us lose our momentum. Oh, that's so frustrating. I was amazing at Pocono. Thanks, Cole Custer. Appreciate it. I did lose the momentum. If I would have got top 10, I think I would have held on to the momentum. Okay, so here is a truck series race. All right, here's a truck series race, right? Two top fives. It's Texas, though. That's worth a lot of money. 
I was thinking about just simulating right now to show you guys what it would look like if I simulated. But it's Texas and it's worth a lot of money. But you know what? We're gonna simulate anyways. We don't care. We're, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna test it out. We're gonna adjust the work plan here for the truck series. Extra long video. Well, not extra long, but a, a a bit longer video here due to the fact of showing off the new simulating mechanic of the game. So we're gonna get our people into the cars and get them ready, and then we are going to go out of this sim race ready let's see what happens are you sure you want to automatically simulate the race results yes sure we're gonna take a hundred ninety five ninety five car to Texas we finished 10th place decent money crappy fans and then we get message feed from people hating us Sergeant said we ran into him. I'm apologizing. Sorry, sir. Nemechek, I ran you off the road? Okay, so apparently you are a crazy driver when you simulate. Apparently I ran three people off the road in a race I didn't even compete in. Interesting. But the next race is Michigan. Let's go ahead and put our drivers in. I mean, our workers into the cars. And then this will be the end of that video. Um, I wanted to see, nope, no good new employees. So that is that. Um, I'm just going to go to adjust work plan and get the cars ready. Get this Pocono car ready. Throw on the 10 spot, throw on the 10 spot. And then, nope, not the right one. It's supposed to be Andrew. There we go. Okay. And then the next race will be Iowa. But the next race after that will be Chicagoland. So we got to throw in these people for that because our short track is already ready for Iowa see that would be a race that I would definitely want to skip but the question is <laughs> how bad would it be we obviously had a hundred ninety five ninety five car into Texas in the truck series and came in tenth place with a simulation so how good is that I don't know but cars are ready for next race and we will go off to Michigan next time. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And adios.